We're dead in the water, boys. All righty, boys and girls, it is the next morning. Didn't even get cold last night, really. up still too. Yeah. yeah I left the brakes in on it. That way it freeze. Oh there you go. I wanna run all over these guys here. Probably. Oh no they're going they're going to Brooklyn. Subway cars. Yeah, yeah. All right, we gotta get a crap ready, get set up, and we'll be out of here. Another day of fun in the sun. got a new radio yesterday too. Steve here. I want to touch base real quick about Mid-America Trucking Show. Yeah, it's coming up around the corner. We're trying to get Orwell ready and get ready to go, haul some more freight, and then come see you guys. Yeah, that's right. I'll be at Mid-America Trucking Show to meet you guys. Where, where's that going to be at? Well, Louisville, Kentucky. That's where the Mid-America Trucking Show is. I'm going to be at the Green APU booth Thursday, March 21st. Now, the show goes from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but I'll be seeing you Thursday. Between 2 and 4 p.m., we're doing a meet and greet at the Green APU booth right there. That's where I got this lovely piece of equipment right here that takes care of all my heating and air conditioning needs while I'm trying to get some nice shut eye. Now, what's Mid-America Trucking Show? Well, it's a huge trucking trade show. It's awesome. 
Got truck parking down there too, so it's really easy. You bring a big truck, fifth wheel camper, your car, bring the wife, bring the kids, maybe bring the dog. Not sure about that, need to verify on that one. But either way, come check us out at the Green APU booth Thursday, March 21st, between 2 and 4 p.m. Be honest, if we're there longer, after, and to be honest, if there's people after 4 o'clock, I'll stick around too. It's not a big deal. Can't wait to see you guys. Good American Trucking Show. All right, with that, got to get back to working on Orwell. See you soon. Go. Let's get it on. Roll that beautiful coal footage. Doing the same as before, nothing passes until he tells me to let him roll. Escorts probably got an eighth mile lead on them. I'm gonna try to figure out how to switch the cameras up and we're dealing with weather, so it's kinda like tuck three of the four of them out of the weather. We had to get a different pilot car for today because uh, the guy that was running it yesterday with the Ford Fusion, he had a uh, death in the family. His grandma passed, so he had to get released and go, go back home. So, Tim got this new guy, he's running a, say, a Toyota Tacoma. And he's got a little pooch in the truck too, so. Just like the dog vlog today, he got Holly in the truck with Tim, and I forget what kind of dog he said he had in the back of the truck. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I bought a brand new Cobra 29 LTD Classic at the, uh, TA back there where we stopped. It's working a lot better. Those radios, the 25 I was running, I hadn't run that radio in probably 20 years and the one before that probably 15 years. So they were having problems. So I bought a brand new radio. We'll deal with that now. And when we outfit this truck, we'll set it up nice with a good antenna, a better antenna than that magnet mount one and uh probably a back rack put a big huge light bar on top of it and make it removable so I can take it out whenever I don't need it or have to put something like my truck camper in a load bed when I eventually get one so that's the basic idea so we'll outfit the truck I know he's talking he's got other loads coming for this big trailer so we'll get her done right this is kind of like a like a better term, this is a beta test. See how well we all work together with this nonsense. It works good, it works good. We'll keep it going. What would you like me to call? Definitely 
Galway, let me know. Now, just, uh, you know, clear lights, stuff like that. It looks pretty open this morning. I hope we come up on them other oversides. I want to pass them on the hill up here. Sure. They're going to Brooklyn, Tim. Got an 18 pulling in the Thunder Lane. behind me. I almost got nothing to do. For now. See how yesterday was. Left shoulder look. Can't get around these trucks. Uh, you got a rumble strip about three, four inches off the mustard. It's pretty solid though. Thinking too, since when does a Cobra 29 Classic come with talkback uh, automatically? Winter weather advice. You think it's rain's gonna freeze, or you think we're good? That depends on elevation, 31 degrees. These roads were powdered pretty well, so it'd have to rain pretty hard to watch all that shit. Stuck back here, late. No, you got us a truck. You would think these guys see a wide load coming on them, they'd get over to the shoulder, let you by, considering you're. How they look up over the hill? We gotta get clear past the pass. You got something wide ahead on an 18 with a right curve. Wouldn't pass on this curve. That was just uh looks about 13 wide. You're clear of the 18. I'm clear, I'm clear. Oversized 
Now they're about 14 watt.
getting beat up by rock salt. I don't know if you hear it or not. restless back there. The white car's flashing me as if that's going to do anything. And then the next night, or that night, I keep saying, damn it, I keep messing it up. I got too much worrying about what's going on over here. This is the stuff, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Sorry guys, it's a wide load. These lanes are too freaking narrow. Hailing rock salt. You probably let them do go there, Steve. It looks like we got a good shoulder up here. Copy. Copy. Car coming around. Demo. Another four wheeler coming around me. Next to you. Stand four, big daddy. And the pickup truck is pulling in behind me. Stand four, big unicorn. Got two snow salt trucks. We got a slow oversize there. Probably waiting on this buddy Daniel's very back there. It wouldn't move over unless you're around. These trucks are going 30 miles an hour. One Thunderlane pass, or just the median. Two still holding in.
Got an oversized, about 15 wide, 14, 15. Got three escorts with it. You guys can see it, but there's a there's our pilot car. I think he got around him. Yeah, that is a big wide load in front of FedEx in front of Tim. It's a big crate, you know, a big wooden box, big crate. Got 18 feet wide load and a 15 foot wide load. These lanes are like 10 or 12 feet wide. Yeah, the lanes are 12, so. That's 24 feet of lane. 30 feet of truck. And maybe a six foot shoulder on the right, and maybe a three foot shoulder on the left. Just ain't room to get through. FedEx is the worst spot to be right now. Finally, gonna go. Roll that coal, rooster. Now that son of a gun's apparently clearing these bridges. Steve, if you want to 
tuck in here in just a second, let this traffic go. I'm good with it. Our right, escort's in the left lane. I right, will we'll see uh, the wide loop spot behind him. Holding lane two.
that's not a bad car to use for a bull car right there. Big old 300 for that. Good riding car. On these bridges, there's a little wind before and after. What it means by a little wiggle is the guardrails they come in and out and then back in and back out for the two bridges that we're on. behind that Peterbilt behind me and he's stuck out there looking to go see what he wants to try so I swerve to the right and make sure he knows that it's not happening may as well stay where you're at sitting there thinking since I started this channel and the things that have happened. I never thought that I would be doing this right now, what I'm doing right now in my life. Yeah, I never thought that I'd be part of moving million dollar boats cross country. Started my channel and maintained old friends that I've had, made new ones, networked with good people, quality people. 
and people think, you know, Tim catches a lot of crap. Oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you don't know what you're doing, blah, 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 all that whatnot. But yet, you know, everybody writing them comments, you know, they're not dragging, you know, boats that are so valuable that you have to get extra insurance. You gotta buy an, an additional insurance binder per load. Like when you do a load like this, the regular insurance ain't enough. You gotta extra insure to cover the value of the boat. That mast right there, that mast you're looking at, that mast is just about a quarter, uh, I think it was, what say, like 174, that, yeah. That mast is carbon fiber, it's $174,000 to replace it. It's just a mast, it's not even the rest of the boat, right? So, think about it. That mast right there is as value, valuable as three of these pickup trucks. So, you know, think about that. I'm happy to do it. I'm, I'm actually, quite frankly, uh, amazed and very thankful for the opportunities that are put in front of me like that so that's what i'm saying you know you get you can do stuff like this and you should take that opportunity and yeah of course people are going to be jealous they're going to hate on you whatever but that's just the way life goes and i use this as a learning opportunity to look at what other people are doing that are more successful than me and how can i rearrange things in my life to get there as well and I think that that's uh, an important lesson to be learned come on boys get on around if you're acting like idiots all day Skinny, the 
me to come in. He's weighing them one axle at a time. Like you hear him on the intercom.
Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. We're dead in the water, boys. <laughs>